Good afternoon guys. Welcome back to another video. I figured I'd quickly just run through how I make my do my meal planning for the week. Um, just something super simple, um, super quick. Um, so how I do it is I base it off of weather, really, and like what the weather's gonna be like for the week. Um, I know here in Michigan the weather's starting to change. And plus next week is um first week like first half week of September or whatever beginning so I know next week starts like the first so I have like all of my stuff written down so I have my weather on here and then kind of what I have an idea of what I'm gonna make so I base it off of weather and then I go to my Pinterest usually or kind of something that sounds good or what's in my fridge now I did create a little bit of a grocery list I'm gonna do that probably in the next couple of weeks I'm gonna try to clear out some of my fridge before I really do anything. So that'll be the next, like the first thing is clearing out my fridge and freezer, try to make some room for some of the stuff. Plus I've got a bunch of veggies I wanna do or get. Um, Cause I have, I wanna make the sheet pan with um, Polish sausage. That sounds pretty good. Um, so I might try to see if I can do that in the next maybe it'll be next weekend I try to do that um but what I have is I have I mean I, it was literally $4.99 at Meyer. um it was one of those just the dry erase boards that was like for college for like doors and stuff um as I was playing over there with his toys slash other stuff so I'm not even gonna worry right now and I've got Mickey Mouse if that's what you hear so but today's just kind of been one of those days where I'm like uh so we still, neither one still kind of feel the greatest. I think he's going through like a 18 month clinginess thing. So, but um, yeah, this is kind of how I do. So I write down. So the first thing I do is like I write down, I go Sunday to Saturday is how I start my stuff. Um, and then I try to do four to five nights that I cook. I try. Now, sometimes it's like we eat leftovers because it is just like the two of us and plus I have my mom coming and watch him some days or I'll bring stuff over to my sisters like yesterday I brought stuff over to my sisters like a meal that I cooked I did taco stuffed peppers so it's literally you make the taco meat and then you stuff the green pepper and cook it for like a half hour at 350 so anyways um so I wrote down all of my stuff before I filmed this so Sunday's supposed to be 86 here so like the start of the week is gonna get it's going to be warmer, like, because Sunday's 86, Monday's 85, Tuesday's 84, and then the rest of the week is supposed to be mid to high 70s. So, I mean, it's compared to, like, the 90-degree weather that we've been having the past couple of weeks, it's definitely a break for sure. Um, so, the I was looking at the one I had before that you guys have seen. Um, that broke. That's why I had to get a new one. Um, and I was looking for ones that were like the magnet, but they were all 20 bucks on Amazon or 20 bucks at Meyer. Um, I was like, nope, not feeling like, um, spending, um, $20 on a refrigerator magnet thing. So, um, but what I have on my things to make is Instapot chicken and veggies. So it has, it's like shredded chicken, you sear it off. Um, and then you just put everything in there. And then I have shepherd's pie, peanut butter ramen that I'm going to try to film for you guys. Um, I have a pizza kit that um, Billsbury did. It comes with like the pizza crust or whatever. And then a package of the like cinnamon sticks or whatever. I think is what you called it. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to just make spaghetti. Something that's easy. So I just have to ask my mom for the shepherd's pie recipe. But I figured... Um, I would probably do like the Instapot meal. So, um, and I like to shorten things cause it, I mean, it saves me more room, but, um, like obviously this one, it's like Instapot. So, um, so I have that for Sunday right now and cause I think Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm going to try to either, like, do, 
meal. I don't know. So that's the thing is like it takes me a little bit to try to do everything too. Um, like sometimes it takes me forever. Like sometimes it takes me half hour to figure out what I want, kind of figure out what's in my fridge, that kind of stuff. Um, so Monday I'm gonna do spaghetti and then Tuesday I'm gonna do leftovers because I think depending on um, babysitting stuff. Um, I try to do leftovers in between each meal or in like after two meals. So it kind of just depends on where I'm at. So like Wednesday, because he's going to my sister's on Wednesday night, I might do leftovers there too. Cause I, yeah, I think that's what I might do. I base it off of like my nights too, where he's going, or who's coming here. Um, two him taking his little bucket of blocks by the way so thursday it's supposed to be 76 which is a lot cooler so i might do um i'm gonna save the pizza for it later um so i take him with me usually on thursdays and then friday he has fridays he has swim so i'm probably gonna do the pizza then that way um we're only cooking like one pizza and he'll share it with me and the cinnamon sticks we can save for leftover so because fridays are usually busy we have play dates going on um fridays and saturdays at least um we have a pretty our schedules are pretty busy um and then Saturday, we're gonna do peanut butter ramen. And I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll try to film that for you. Kind of depends on where he's at and stuff like that. But um, that's how it looks. And yeah, I have a little bit of space left over. Um, I don't know. It's just it's a little bit bigger, but um, I kind of ba like I know with the start of September coming up and. Um, the weather's starting to go down. It's supposed to be like the low 70s starting next week, like the end of next week and stuff like that. So I know the first full week of September is supposed to um, start to be cooler. So that's probably where it's going to start. Like I'm going to, I have a big list of things of like fruits, veggies, um, snacks, but I'm going to, it really starts my list of, um, like my crock pot meals. So that's the one thing is like, I'm going to do a round steak and mashed potato kind of meal, like in the crock pot, I think, um, like the round steak at least. Um, but this is where it starts kind of is like, so basing it off of the weather, which I feel like everybody does. With summer it being so hot, you grill, you do kind of whatever. But anyways, I figured I'd quickly make just a single video out of how I bake. Meal prepping for me is so much easier than I'm not like kind of just being lazy and not knowing what I'm going to make. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, I'm going to show you the one pan full of sausage and veggies and stuff like that when... I do my grocery haul and stuff. So, but I mean, you literally just cut up the sausage and then pour your veggies on the pan and olive oil, salt and pepper, whatever. I can't, like the video I saw, it's like apples, sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts and onions. I don't eat onions or Brussels sprouts. I think the sweet potatoes would be good for him, but 
Um, I don't know, I might try substituting that with some other veggies, just because brushed sprouts are nasty, so I, at least I think. But um, anyways, I think I'm gonna end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed the small little video. Um, I think the next video is gonna be his um, August Hello Bella order, because that um, ships out, that gets ordered tomorrow. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed your night.